Hey everybody, this is Sean from Fast VR. Uh, we're doing something a little different here, just most people playing VR games. You're gonna have to upgrade your uh, RAM, RAM at some point. So this is a quick little video that we're doing. We have XPG Spectric D60G RAM, DDR4 RGB memory, looks pretty nice. So that's two sticks of 16 gigs running at 3200 megahertz. PCI 4 and uh, yeah let's see how this goes so I ordered the RAM RAM came in uh, Amazon package let's tear this open and here we are here's our nice XPG Spectric D 60G, two pieces of 16 gig RAM. Back of the box, anybody that wants to know anything off there, yep. Yep, pretty much just like a normal box. Ugh, should have had a knife. Oh well, we'll just peel this up. There we go. Ta-da! There's the new RGB RAM. Ah, nice. All right, we'll just set that there for a minute. And this is the current PC that we're working on today. There's our nice red RAM in there. We're going from a total of 16 gig to 32 gig with the RGB. So first of all, I want to show you guys these tabs. Pretty, pretty easy. What you're going to want to do is snap the tabs downward and upward. So up for the one on the top up here, down for the one on the bottom down there. For the sake of the video, I have it so we can see front ways. Normally I'd have this laying down. Uh, makes it a lot easier, but there's our RAM. And then we'll get our second piece out. Real easy, we don't want to be rubbing our hands all over these things or anything like that. Back to the new RAM. So I have this speeded up just a little bit here to show because I'm working on a gigabyte board that's a mini, not a whole lot of room in there. Snap that first one in. Get back to the second one here. You'll wait for the snap when you know it's in. See, it didn't go in there. Line it back up. Snap. Snap, snap. There we go. Boom. Double check power back on which yeah make sure you shut your power off before you're uh, doing it just better powered it on there we go we got RGB 32 gigs of RAM so our first step is is just to uh, well, make sure everything's running here and jump into the BIOS See if it's showing in here. Sorry about the delay here. My dogs there at the side of me. Go away. Go sit down, boy. And then we're just going to boot up the computer, make sure it's all recognized. There it is. Installed RAM, 32 gigs. I uh, did a quick user benchmark just to see how this stuff performed, at least in mine. Uh, came above uh, above normal. And as you can see, a whole bunch of numbers about all of it. 
we're just going to jump right back in. We're going to need to get you to go to XPG's website. You're going to look all over it, but really down here at the download, that's what you're going to need to hit. Start a quick little download at the bottom of your screen here, just like mine. When that's all done, click it, unzip it. I use this nice free program. Open it up. Have this going a little quick just so uh, you guys don't have to wait. There it is installed. Restart the computer. And just playing around. Here's all the different um, settings. You can change each individual spot on the RAM so it's not just uh, one solid color going through. You can mix it all up. You can have it a wave. Glowing, color cycle, breathing whole bunch of different stuff that you can uh, basically customize to your own setup. So I tested a few, you know, see, playing around with each and getting half the color, all the color. I had no issues uh, with the uh, program. It's not having a problem recognizing them. They're all glowing the same. Uh, thing and same together and here you can see I got them all in there's pulsating red both them pulsating red together that's a green fan on the top now that I got these going I think I'm gonna change the whole scheme of this to a full multi rainbow RGB and uh, I'll probably throw up a quick little video of how to throw a module in and throw some RGB fans just to make your system look a little bit more intense gaming. Even though RGB, once again, does nothing to uh, change anything to do with uh, your computer. Just aesthetics. Looks great. And if you guys like this, hit the like button. If you want to see some more videos of installations, hit the subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Oh, I like the blue.